Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is video number four on how to create this dynamic inventory management in Excel. Today, we're going to be looking at how to actually keep track of all our inventory. I mean, all the products we have in our store. How we can keep track of how many came in, how many went out, and how many were returned over time, plus what the stock level is. It is very easy and straightforward. Let's begin. So now we go to view and switch window to go to the workbook we want to actually use. Now, right here, we want to get the categories of these very uh, products we have right here. So what we need to do right now is to actually uh, just click on equal to and use index and match. That is very, very efficient. It's not gonna break. It's gonna look the way it is even though if we add in that column. So now we're going to use index and the index, index is going to be asking for the table array. So we can go to the table, like table is add stock and give it a uh, table array by highlighting everything. But that is not professional. So we can go back and come back to the uh, add stock and click on it and rename it, which we already have add stock as a name. So we can use this to be the array. Or the table array so now when we just click on equal to index right now so you can actually click on add stock at the table array so the next thing is going to be requesting for is going to be real number so we're going to be using match to match what we really want so now lookup value is going to be this so and now it will be requesting for the lookup array which we can actually go and choose so the lookup array is going to be the product which we can give from here. By clicking it, it highlights everything for us. So now when we hit comma, it's going to be asking us for which particular um, match type. So we're going to be using, in, uh, which is, uh, we're going to be using zero as the exact match, and we'll close it. So now the next thing we have to specify is the color header. So that's the tone breaks. So if we use VLOOKUP for this, it would have been done all this while, but we don't want to use that. So to make it some kind of uh, dynamics we're gonna be using under match again so which is actually requesting for the uh, lookup value so we go back to inventory and we pick category with his comma and now we're gonna supply it with what with the lookup array which is this so we need exact match we have it closed and we hit enter here we go this is everything we need, right? Now the first thing we're going to be doing to actually track our inventory is to know how many of those products like this, how many of this very particular product came in and how many were sold. Before how many were sold, let's see how many came in. So sum if, sum if is perfect, just this. Now it's requesting for the sum for the range. The range is going to be this. Go to add stock, it's going to be this very particular one this product now it's asking for the criteria when we come back here we pick this to the criteria and now asking for the sum range which is going to be this sum range is the quantity that came in so when we close and hit enter it gives us everything that actually came in over time so we've purchased just 100 of these 100 of these and now we want to see how many were sold now we don't have anything to do with the ad stock any longer. The problem we're going to be having right now is actually uh, picking data from our transactional table. So which is going to be some ifs, more sophisticated. <laughs> now some if is asking for the sum range, which we go here and like, okay, I want you to help us. Uh, I want you to help us um, the quantity right here being uh, sold we we'll click on it and it asks for the criteria range one it's going to be product so the criteria is going to be this and with comma it's now asking for the criteria range two if we have it which we really have so we go back and now we we'll pick it up now you see here we have trans type, which I am going to explain in a GFA. So we hit that 
and we'll hit comma it's asking for the criteria so it's going to be sales because we want to track how many of those products will be sold over time so now we close and hit enter here we go now what we have done right here is this right here we have this drop down that specify sales and return every single time we make a sales and a product is, a product is leaving our store we actually click and select sales but in the customer letter after all out of 50 return two of those products to be either not really okay or for any other condition so we keep the record again without subtracting it from the previous one we actually kept you get it now we've gotten this we want to see how many of those products will be returned over time so the same some if some if is still what we're gonna use so now we can now go to the transactional table and actually click on this quantity that came in we hit comma it's asking for the criteria range which is going to be our product and now is requesting for the criteria which we go back here and choose this as the criteria then cover then the criteria range 2 which we really have we go back here and we choose this comma and quotation mark and we're gonna say return so make sure you type it correctly else it won't work so when I hit enter what do I have I have how many of this particular product is being uh, returned over time now we have this very woman boot 100 came in tweet one where it was sold and only nothing was actually returned so if you want to see if this really worked is this this is women boots so we can come back here and select the product right here so you don't say women boots so now two is being sold but we don't want to put it on sold we want to put it on actually returned and let's see let's go back now here we have it so if we increase it to like okay to like 10 so you can see 10 will be returned so we'll have 10 being returned out of the 20 that the person purchased so let us track our stock level how many of those product do we still have in store it's going to be equal to this minus the quantity being sold so when i hit enter here we go but actually we have more than 79 because 10 was actually returned after all now what do we need to do to get it we have to go back and like subtract uh, sorry add what was actually returned to what uh, we have is done then what do we have we have 89 can we see this awesome right this is exactly what i'm talking about now the next thing we have to do now is to check the stop level by using if condition it's gonna be if if this is greater than zero then I want you to give me on okay on stock or in sorry it's gonna be in stock available so that available ours is going to be low low stock which is this when i hit enter seems something is actually wrong somewhere okay if is the logic so is this okay i have to add this i hit enter and i have it so we have this to be lost up because we don't have it no longer it seems somebody pre-ordered we don't have what to actually make sales of so if somebody pre-ordered we're gonna have it like this now we have 100 of this now we have it available if we want to test it if this is working actually we can go back here and actually like okay um this is actually not more where is it this um okay this particular product is on sales on sales and actually purchased was 100 so when we go back to the inventory we're gonna see uh to see it to be low stock so 120 maybe somebody pre-ordered 
and when somebody pre-ordered we enter it we have it like this we keep the record just like that so now what we need to do next now is that we want to actually use conditional formatting to actually have this you know more dynamic and easy to actually view so what to see is this i love this card now which product actually came in most now what just what you're seeing here means there is this product is not available in the stock since ever but we have it actually uh in our list so what we need to do now to do away with this error now we can click anywhere and use if error to actually take it off so which i've actually taught in the, other, in the previous video you can actually go and watch that and see how that works so that we can actually focus on this function so with we waste much, much of our time so now we can actually highlight this as well so we'll go here and choose the condition of martin to be this star okay okay i shall use this so in order to track uh what we have uh, out we can actually use this sign so now in the stock level so we can use any of this so you can use whatever you like it's not really compulsory that you must use what i'm using so i love this i love this or oh, anything here can actually go a long way you can design it the way you like so this is everything we need to know this is all we need this is exactly what we've done right here this is the demo we've actually seen you can see that you can see exactly the same demo we've seen is what we've actually gotten exactly nothing is different so this is everything you really want to know about stuck in and stuck out or tracking inventory should you not actually subscribe to my youtube channel please go ahead and do so because we are going to be doing a lot a lot about it so we've actually uh we have a video for this and we have a video for this uh we have a video that actually now for this which is the, the third video and this is the first video second video and uh, this is the third video and we have a fourth video and fifth video to come up and we have dashboard built for this very uh, dynamic inventory we're actually making which is some kind of dynamic and you need to actually get to see how it works and everything all about that so if you want to keep track of what is going on right on this channel how we can actually help your uh, excel career and analytic career please kindly do subscribe and stick with us that little bit right there just hit it every single time i drop a new video it rings I'm like oh he has a new video you need to check it out so thank you very much for watching i really appreciate your effort for staying here without you you'll be knowing me on this channel so kindly do share leave a comment and like as well thank you very much for watching we appreciate